Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode from the Medieval Realm, Realm of Vastin. I'm joined here by DNA. Hello. Hello. Um, so, hey, what we're doing today, we're doing a bit of a, a, a tutorial. I'm doing air quotes up in the air. You can't see no webcam tonight. But, um, yeah, I'm doing, we're doing a bit of a tutorial today. And it is on what we want to do for road building and bridges. And, and DNA was uh, kind enough to join me tonight so we could sort of talk about it. And where I am right now, I'm at the Magging Clan. And I am get trading and cobble from the quarry in Port Bray to make, there we go gravel and uh the cool thing about this is once you um you can trade in anything for for gravel or uh so generally i'll use um you know cobble but you could use ender pearls ender pearls are actually even cheaper because you only need stacks of 16 so usually if i'm done like farming at the end like getting experience and fixing tools and stuff like that i'll just bring a whole bunch of ender pearls here and get some gravel so that's how the banking clan works and i thought i would catch on video because in case uh, DNA or anyone else who's kind enough to do some road building with me wants to uh, see. So, um, here we are at the ship. I'm in the wrong door. So we're headed uh, We're headed to White Sands, which White Sands is a season two kingdom. And that needs to um, be flattened for things that we'll talk about down the road. But I'm headed there to meet DNA now because he's coming back from... We're, we're building the road west actually dips south at the moment but it's really far i showed it in a live stream the other day how far it is it's what do you think it is about twenty thousand? at least yeah and the reason why we're going there is because i want to build in a jungle in season two season two is going to be based around uh a lot of water there's going to be we're going to do a an atlantis build we're going to do a pirate bay we're going to do a lake town build and probably a guardian farm at some point all coming in season two i would expect season two to last a very long time that's my expectation so here this is white sands where i am right now this area is going to be the, the part of our world that is a squid farm this level that it's down to right here this whole place needs to be cleared and needs to be cleared specifically away from the ocean so we can get far enough that we can build ruins and a squid farm and around it for fun, do an ice ice track and all that kind of stuff. So big plans, big, 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 big plans. So what I'm going to do right now, though, is I am just going to follow this road and find DNA. We're going to talk about some road building stuff. Um, you know what I don't have? Uh, I don't. I, I have one stack of cobble to my name. I don't know if I brought any more in shulker boxes. I did fill two shulkers full. This is funny. This this road it. I, it makes loops and stuff because like, oh, hey, here, look at that. I see you. you're almost to White Sands. It's just over there. Um, let me pull up my bed. No, not yet. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so White Sands is like, literally, it's just over there. You can almost see it. DNA, you like these new skies that we have now? I do. It's almost like that in that, that extra add-on pack that we used to have for skies. But uh, this these came from Jermsey Boy, who's... Just a tremendous builder. And a uh, tremendous texture as well. This road here that you're on right now, it does a bit of a loop. A bit of a loop-de-loop. -loop. Um, so let's start with this bridge. Hey, why not? It's, it's right here. It needs to be done. So um, there's two bridges within sight here. There's that one over there and this one. I think they should be very, very similar. So what I have here is I have gravel. Oh, hey, I brought you some chocolate boxes. Here you go. Just like plain old. I didn't color them. All the uh, the purple ones are. I reverted them back to the purple texture, and uh, all the colored ones are these cool, awesome conquest ones of all different varieties. So, okay. So I have a bunch of stuff here that I thought we could use to build with, and you know, here we're in a desert. So we have a couple options. I don't think wood necessarily in the desert makes a lot of sense. I think probably more like stone based sort of stuff so i like all bri all bridges and roads to be at least three blocks wide two blocks you can get caught on the sides and it just it looks flimsy unless it's supposed to look flimsy which that's a whole building style as well you know so um one of the things to uh, that I find, and this is all my opinion. I am no master builder, so I'm just talking about things that I like to do. So I don't want anyone either watching or anyone who I'm playing with right now 
to think that I am saying the way that things are absolute. It's not that way. All right. So one of the things I like to do in roads is I often like to have this down on, on the half on the lower half slab because that means you can do this and that gives you automatic depth, which is super cool. So if we just did, let's see, how about like every third block and a site, something like that. Andesite is now also reverted back to the vanilla, vanilla texture. And sometimes this works out, and then sometimes it doesn't quite work out. So that's all right. We'll do a here. I guess it would be here. All right, then we'll do a pillar. How about that? That should kind of work. So uh, first thing uh, to do, I think, is to, to try to mix up and decide what you want. Do you want this to be like a, like a covered bridge? be easier to do from up here uh a cover bridge an open bridge uh sort of um you could do like a uh what am i trying to say like a uh, uh like a dilapidated sort of building i think that that works really well as well um i think we could use a workbench though so um let's make some slab like maybe quite a few slabs and Oh, you know what we should do? Uh, oh, do you have any? Do you have any coal? No coal. All right. Well, then, in that case, I lied. Oh, okay. Oh, lots of coal. Awesome. Okay, cool. Let's make some crackstone brick. Okay, that'll be helpful as well. We'll do some stuff with that. All right. So another thing, uh, probably maybe some stairs. Oh, that's not how you do stairs. And probably some cobble stairs. Okay. So again, just looking at like at, at adding at adding depth in some way that makes sense. Some you can do something sometimes like like maybe this. And then just kind of figure out what you're gonna do with that, you know? Um And you know you gotta have supports too. It doesn't always have to have a lot. You can have like one thick support or a lot of little supports. That's kind of the two ways that I sort of seen that works. So something like this, and um, then let's see. You could do some maybe like that and that, and let's grab a wall. And again, you know, one of the things that that's really important, I think, is to add as much add as much depth as humanly possible. So, um, and that's both like horizontal, vertical, and uh, whatever the one that's like forward and backward is, you know. But that that in itself is not a terrible start to a bridge. And uh, you know, I like to make them all different uh, as much as possible because, like, if you think about it, in in a realm. They wouldn't, every bridge wouldn't be the same. Different people would build every different one, you know? So something like that is not a bad start. Um, and maybe underneath supports like this. I think, now I think this might be overkill, but maybe that, that might be okay. Let me see. That's not bad, but the stair in the bottom's got to go, I think. Nope, that's terrible. All right, so sometimes it doesn't work. If we had these five, these supports five blocks away, I think it would work. But because they're only three blocks away, that makes basically no room between. One thing I definitely like is underneath. Do you like that where the stairs are, like, touching? Yes. Um, maybe even, oh, even, are you dead? <laughs> I just heard an explosion. Are you TNTing? I swear, if you're TNTing, you are in so much trouble. Nothing to worry about. I just tried to make a rocket, used the wrong recipe, had sand instead of paper. Uh... Okay, so let me, let me see. Let me do a cut here. 
let me do a cut here really quickly because I want to sort of work out, a, try a few different designs. I, I, nothing that I'm doing right this second is jumping out as actually good. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of stuff I don't like. So let me work out a few different designs and then we'll come back. All right, so uh, we've gotten some more work done here. Some some designs that I kind of like, some things that I've forgotten to finish off, which is putting these stone stairs, stone, uh, there we go, stone stairs on top of the wall. And I made up a bunch of spruce gates. The cool thing about gates is, is gates will attach to wall block, yeah, whereas fences will not. So um, you can utilize that as a builder. And a couple things I want to try is I want to see how this works. So what I'm doing is I, I'm attaching this here. Hey, do you, uh, Dave, do you still have those um, uh, slabs? Probably. Um, oh, that's exactly where I was going to put them. Yep, put them right there. Exactly right there. And then what we can do is we can throw gate, gate. Oops, gate, 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 like that. Um, and then the middle choice of either uh, wall or fence. Either way works. Probably, probably fence. Oops. Um, and you know, I, all of a sudden, just with a little bit of texture variation on on the floor here, which is nice on the ground, and uh, a couple things with the texture variation. I think adding in just a little bit of um, like a, a what's it stairs. A little bit of stairs every once in a while. Not often and not every time, but every once in a while I think is actually is actually really nice. Uh, I wouldn't want to do it all that much, but the way it is, I think it's okay. And you can still ride down the middle without like that hiccuping hiccuping effect. So um, I got some walls, I think. Let's throw the walls down on the end site. Actually, you know, the end site, you can only you can only see a little bit of it kind of peeking up, but it's kind of nice. Okay, there's that. Let me make some fence and see what see how it goes. I, I'm not not completely sold on this. Maybe. In fact. Yeah, you get that weird ridge thing. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Um. Oh, man. Even if I make... Uh, do I have enough? Uh, let's take a look at it. Uh, so, okay, so... Maybe on this. Oh, you know what? I tried. This is this is why this looks weird. I, I tried something different first, and I didn't really like it. So we'll do that. Come down and get these guys. Okay. Mm, so wall, wall, please, and gate, gate, and fence thing. Yeah. I'm not sure about the fence. In fact, actually, I kind of think I hate it. But the next step is going to be is going to make it all okay. And that is going to be we're going to destroy this bridge uh, for the most part because it is way too nice for this area. So uh, the this the idea of this is that this whole whole town is ruined. So let's make it into ruin. So we're just going to take some parts of this off. Um, and the best way to make ruins, I think, is to actually make it and then destroy it. I think if you try to do it, if you try to build it, I don't think it ever really comes across looking all that good. Um, now I want to make this like, I don't make this like a real pain to walk, to go across, but I do think that we should have a few that are missing, like maybe right here in the center and we'll get rid of these. And this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. That's not too bad. That's a good start. We'll get rid of maybe this. And what we'll do is we can put these. The other thing we can do about this is we can put them down a block. Oops. Um, oops. Uh, that's actually kind of cool, but that's not what I'm... Not, what is happening? My sword's in the wrong place. Pickaxe in the wrong place. Uh, that's kind of cool, but that's not what I intended. So drop this down. Maybe this guy's hanging on by a thread. Hmm, how are we going to do this? 
Yeah, okay. That's not too bad. Actually, what would be cool... Uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's do a, a cobblestone wall right there. And pick up all my shrapnel, man. All right, so this is the first bridge of this area. What do you think, D? Looks good. Um, so, I mean, the thing is, is all of these bridges can be, like, wildly different, you know? And should be, in fact, actually. Just thinking about, thinking about as far as it goes for lore and stuff, you know, how, you know, every... Every one of these things would be built by different people and have completely different uh, results. Another thing we can do is you can throw down some slabs, like where where stuff is sort of falling apart, and that helps to make it look um, look a little bit run down. Looks like that's really falling apart. That's pretty good. Okay, that's pretty solid. Pretty solid to begin with. I think maybe this needs one more like area that has been uh, beat up a bit. Maybe uh, walking down here. How would this be? You know what? Actually, part of, partly is this. Get rid of that guy. There, that'll help. Yeah, that little hiccup is nice. Cool. And um. I think that's probably not a bad bridge. I mean, that's as basic as it gets, but... Oh, you know what? Okay, you know what? Here's one thing. Um, I don't have any more s concrete slabs. Or uh, rather, cobble. I don't have any more cobble slabs, but there should be cobble slabs on the ground here. Uh, oh, no, you can't do slabs underwater. Blue. What am I thinking? Yet. You will be able to. They've got that problem solved. But underneath where this thing is, you got to put some... You gotta put some shrapnel down where, uh, where, where, where stuff has fallen, fallen down. Yeah, man. Slabs underwater. Kelp. Kelp blocks. Did you see the strip bark logs that are coming? I have not seen them. Strip bark. You just take an axe and you right click a, a log and you get basically a log but without the bark texture. It's really cool. That is really cool. So there, there's the first, um, there's the first bridge. I think, I think it's okay. You know, it's okay. It's not, it's not my greatest creation ever. You can do things like you put slabs on top of the walls here. That would be, that would be okay or whatever, some stuff like that. But sometimes less is more. You know, <clears throat> I'm fine with it being the way it is. I think it's all right. It's a real basic bridge, but I think, I think if you're, if you're just riding along, I think the atmosphere of that would be really nice. So the only thing for roads, <coughs> I did these roads. Um, they are really, really boring. The thing is that I tried to do is not do anything straight for longer than, you know, 10 or 15 blocks and look for excuses. Like, for example, I saw this water over here, but instead of go straight, I tried to swing left and then that gives me an excuse to swing right and then swing left and, you know, just make it weave. And like, I found, like I saw the cactus and I could have just destroyed them, but instead I tried to go around them because it just, again, it's, it's a reason to curve. And that's really important when doing roads. Like one of the things I read on this forum post when we first started the realm out about a year ago is that uh, roads would never like tunnel through something. They would always just go around it or they would never go, you know, cut down a mountain to be straight they would just go around or go a zigzag around or whatever because they would build them as easy as as possible and that is something i've tried to always kind of remember um when doing the roads you know is tried to as much as i possibly can keep them um if not realistic at least keep them where it makes sense you know i think it's all right so roads need to be at least minimum three wide. I like them around towns and stuff to be five wide. Now, granted, I don't think I did that over here. Let's go take a look. This is just a little, it's like a procedure to generate desert town that eventually maybe we'll come back and maybe we'll make it sort of our own. But this road right here should be wider because it's near a civilization pocket. So near, near civilization, probably more like five blocks. Near um, when it's just out in the middle of nowhere, it could be more like three. And I did notice this guy has, this village has three or four white coat villagers. 
I'm gonna take a take a bit of a flight over here and let's check because this is where the desert ends and goes into a spruce uh, taiga. And this was a pain in the butt. Uh, D, just follow the road um, into the spruce uh, area where that uh, that next village is. Because this got to be a bit of a mess. I'm just past the net. Oh, bring the bed, please. Oh, actually, <laughs> bring all the shulkers, too, if you if you have inventory space. I didn't really intend on coming down. Here. So, uh, so looking at this area, this is... This is not okay. This would never happen. If this were gravel, it would slide into the water, so you can't have that. So the easiest thing to do is just grab cobblestone. That's easily the the, the uh, best and, and easiest way to do this. Grab cobblestone and just make make an embankment that has been uh, created in order to keep this road from slipping. Um, and you got to go down as far as uh, the ground. You you can't you can't get cheap, but uh, yeah. So under underwater, of course, it's got to be full blocks, of course, um, as we all know. But then as soon as you get over water, yeah. Um, so it's got to come the whole way here. You can't have dirt under co under cobble. Um, so anytime you have this, you got to yeah. See all this. Now, sometimes you, what you can do is you can just get rid of this guy, put that in there. Then, then it's allowed. Uh, yeah, so you gotta have your your lighter material on top of your heavier material. So things like this. Let's just get rid of these two. And this one. And this one. Okay, that's a pretty solid embankment. Okay, then. Then you can come over here and you grab the stairs and you grab the cobblestone wall and uh, hopefully some slabs. That would be also ideal. Let me grab a... Let me make a uh, workbench here. Uh, we'll make some slabs. I'm going to need more cobblestone to do almost any more building because we're pretty close to out. So yeah, so cobblestone here. Let's do this just so we can grab a... Uh, Put a wall, wall, stairs, slabs, all any kind of mixture is good. Sometimes it should be higher, um, higher than the road for sure. Ugh, I don't need more. Yeah, so so I mean. This, uh, this is like it's not rocket science what I'm doing here, but I'm just trying to make this look as sort of random in nature as possible. And usually, once you get a little bit of this done, it's it's pretty obvious what what you know where more stuff needs to be. Like this is very flat, so that's not so good. So we'll grab these slabs. Let's do something like this and that, and then maybe this and that. Take a look. Oh. Yeah. That's not so bad. I don't think. Yeah, that's a uh, thought so. So slab, stair there. Cool. Um, sometimes you can even go up a few blocks high. Like I could go up there and just throw in uh, that. You don't want to do too many in a row. It'll just look like, kind of like a castle. And that's not so great. Okay, this is not so good. <laughs> gotta, gotta get rid of that. But, uh... Yeah, this is alright. So this was a natural gravel beach that I found when I was doing the road, and I just decided to just go right up next to it, thinking that it would be kind of cool as if the road, like, sort of sloped into the beach, or into the water. It just sort of, like, fell down. And it works. It works for sure. Where you at, Danny? Oh, there. <clears throat> so here's what I'm thinking for this. This little area. This was just cobble. Uh, this was just cobble straight down. But if you look, I think this makes a lot more sense now. Now it looks like, you know, instead of just have gravel from falling down the water. It's super simple. But, you know, I want all the roads, if you're riding along it, to be, you know, something like this. Something along these lines. Um... Maybe this could be there. Real little point, but um, 
if you have cobble on top of dirt or grass, it has to be taken out because it would be, it would have collapsed. So let's do a slab and a <coughs> something like that. Yeah. Any thoughts? Looks good. And then, you know, and also in the road, I love these, like, dirt paths, especially with the overlays. Like, a, a little spot of dirt is cool if you can, you know, anywhere the, those those can be. And then eventually we'll come back and we'll plant grass, put grass in all those. That makes it work really well. These stairs are incredibly horrible. This is um, one of the spots I was thinking of ahead. Now that we're in, we're in a wooded area, we can use log, and that changes everything. Um, same with this, like, I, I know Wells Knight has talked about this a lot, but like, if you have a log here, you gotta, like, you can't put a log, like, for example, where are you at? There. You couldn't put a log, like, there. You know, you would have to go there. Um, yeah, so we could just go something along these lines, like every two, or every other even. And this is a really simple way to make a uh, sort of a, I don't know, realistic, but like at least something interesting. Um, uh, something interesting as far as a road goes or, or, or when you have to change elevation and you have to do a big, a big uh, change is you can just do something along these lines and then in between them, get rid of all this. Spade. up to the top of this. And then what I would do probably in between there is anything from planks back a level. Uh, this kind of works. You could do stone, cobble. What One of the things I like to do is fence. I think that, that works really well. So like this is an idea that I kind of like. Um, so something like this, just to make this look like, uh, I don't know, like it's not just a hovering cobblestone stair staircase, you know, but, uh, yeah, that kind of works. And then, you know, it's just some options of, of however, whatever kind of works, uh, the best of in between here, whether you want to use like like um, spruce wood, or uh, sometimes I'll use, instead, I'll, like I'll use uh, fences like here, going all down, now I would use a different texture. I'd probably put cobble behind it, and then these fences, because that blends in, you can't see it. I feel like I'm just saying completely wildly co common sense stuff. I don't know, just some ideas. Any thoughts on this stuff? Looks good. We need something tying the logs together at the top. Yeah, so um, you can usually, I'll usually use either uh, stairs or slabs depending what the material is between. Um, and then a fence on top of that. So like, uh, I only have stone. So I'd probably do something along these lines. Now this one, this one's a little weird because it juts out, but uh, something along these lines, and then on top of that, do a fence. So that way you're going to get two fences. I don't really love having only one fence in a row. I, I think it looks a little weird, but if you do something like this, not so bad. You know what I mean? And that also affords you a really good place to put um, torches down too. You can put a torch on top of like every other fence or something like that just to like, light it all up. Um, also, because of this texture pack, uh, I shouldn't have done that. Let me see. Here, uh, check this out. Wait, that's weird. Uh, see, see the overlay on the bottom of this one right here? Just to get rid of that, you gotta put a log down there. Just so it's not super weird. 
looking. I love the overlays, but there's occasional occasions that it's not so great. Hey, did you get a uh, by any chance? Did you bring the bed? Yes. We're gonna get blown up. So yeah, so that's just that. I mean, that's some of my ideas, you know. Uh, and and just kind of using, I use whatever whatever woods around. Like if we're in a birch forest, I'll generally use birch for this stuff, spruce, spruce, whatever. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I I can't even imagine. I can't possibly imagine that any of this information sort of ideas was helpful in any way because this seems so boring. Uh, but maybe it was. I do like um, going back a level to put to put like stuff. I I prefer going back one to give it depth. Like, let me show you he, over here. I didn't go back one, and you can see it's. I don't think it's nearly as good. So we'll take this guy down. And see what I mean? Like over uh, the problem is. Well, that's not not a big problem. Uh, you can always use gravel. Gravel you can use at any point along with these roads because uh, gravel is in the cobblestone texture. Or I'm sorry, that doesn't even make sense. Gravel is in the uh, the cobblestone is in the gravel texture, so you can interchange cobblestone at any point in these roads, and it works totally fine. Anyway, um, let me cut here and and uh, try to figure out what else we're going to work on. All right. Well, we're perfectly up against it. So anyway, so, you know, so just some tips. Danny, thanks for uh, thanks for coming along with me. Yeah. Sorry if I chewed your ear off the whole time. I just realized I just kind of monologued. <coughs> I'm not so good at conversation with people. <laughs> I'm much better just talking to myself. Anyway, because I find myself hilarious. So uh, thank you guys so much for coming by. Jump on my Discord and tell me what we could be doing better. That's always fun. I missed. I missed the tree again. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Say bye, Dana. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.